Thanks for joining us back to the, from the break. Uh, like I said just now, uh, we'll get to some online comments. Uh, on the, and here we have Ruth Van Wong. Uh, it's one is uh, every Liverpool win, Han Kyung gains a KG. Thank God they don't win all 38 games every season. Yeah, uh, actually, I didn't gain weight. Uh, 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 I am actually pregnant. Okay. We actually say you'll be quite slim this season, actually. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a nice one from a fan, huh? If the theory holds. Uh, Red Devil 7 said, uh, Let me ask the guys, do you think the head-to-head -head between the top four have any bearing on who wins the title in the end? Hmm. Okay, we ask uh, Shawal. Do you think, do you think, do you think it's more crucial than winning the, the Kurap games? Uh? Oh, I think it's crucial because it's three points. Just like any other game, 38 games in the season. Do you think it's six points? More like, more, more? Yeah, six, six points. How many away? Yeah, so, uh, it's especially crucial that, judging from how, um, how high the standard has been for Premier League at the moment. So, the big four are the points where you're going to be knocking off each other. That The, the other rest of the games you're expected to win, uh, except for Hull, but yeah. That's, it's very crucial, the big four games. Very, very crucial. Ooh, see a lot of yeah, sniping here and there, but... I yeah, but I have to take my dick. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, but <laughs> to put in context, uh, if you go back last season where Arsenal were dominating <coughs> Liverpool, uh, um, yes. Arsenal were dominating Manu, <laughs> and Galas decided to donate a generous uh, handball, oh, yes. and uh, United yeah. went ahead to one, win two-one. You just changed that result. Mm. The table looks a whole lot different. We are first. Mm. Chelsea second, United third. If that kind of puts mm. it in perspective, because um, I, I think as uh, Shawel rightly said, um, the, it's the probable six point. It's not just three points. Mm. Mm. It's three points to you and three points off your nearest rivals. Yeah. So, they are important. Having said that, that, there was a season where Arsenal took points all of, of all the big teams. And still, still <laughs> performance cool. like Hull <laughs> cost them the title. So, yeah. in perspective. Yeah, but it's yeah. still very vital. Like, Definitely. Liverpool couldn't, that's why couldn't beat Chelsea, couldn't yeah. beat Arsenal, couldn't beat uh, Man U, of course. Yeah. Um, this season, do you think uh, this... A uh, slightly more competitive edge, or do yes. you think they will still struggle against, like maybe Chelsea or maybe Arsenal? I don't think so, because if you judge, like okay, let's say last season's performance, we lost twice to Man United. You know, uh, I would say the more significant one was against Chelsea, because for I can't remember how many years we could not score at Stamford Bridge, and we actually managed to do that last season. So you know, like this season. On the fourth game, we actually beat Man United two one, so I feel it's it's it's, it's definitely a more competitive edge. Huh? We are getting yeah. closer. Yeah, I think I think the top four are really getting very very competitive, yeah. and yeah, but the rest are important, uh, they're getting slightly further behind. Do you think? So? Yeah, I mean, as, as a big as a big four team, you want to call yourself a big four team. You're expected to take away points from the rest of the league, so that's when um, again I I come back to why. Um, Points against the big four are big, not just bragging rights. Yeah, that's that's um, how it's going these days, lah. Yeah, basically. Um, having said that, though, this season, I mean, it's early days, six games, but looks like it's shaping up slightly differently. Aston Villa, quietly there, doing the job. Uh, someone who's taken over the team, uh, Randy Lerner, not not the typical kind of uh, big money takeover, but who's giving full support to Martin O'Neill, a great manager. I was in Leicester when Martin O'Neill took over Leicester, so I, I have full respect for the man. Um, West Ham, look what Zola has done. Quietly again, just since he's taken over, win after win, few goals conceded. So, this season is shaping up to be fairly interesting. So, there, there's about to be a few more tricky, trickier ties for the top four. I think uh, so. Yes, but, but we've been proven wrong before. I mean, last year we had um, other clubs that looked very promising. Uh, look at what Reading did. <laughs> Yeah, and where uh, they ended up. So, yep, yep. And uh, more comments coming in. Uh, Brooklyn said, uh, "Getting closer, but you ain't there yet." I think that's probably for <laughs> Liverpool fans. Uh. Um, Sugizo said, "Yeah, yeah, whatever." Man, you still won the title. What did Arsenal win? Oh uh, yes. Ruth Van Wong here say, "Benjamin, why did you stay at Leicester when you were there? You were greener and better." Yeah. Hey, you all comments are getting worse and worse. Uh, but never mind. <laughs> Same person mind. though. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> We'll keep, we'll keep them coming in. No worries, no worries. No censorship here. Um, now, Stoke City, you know, they got a great result two weeks ago, uh, going to Enfield and somehow coming away with a nil-nil draw. Um, 
And then now, now they travel to uh, Stamford Bridge. You know, Stamford Bridge still unbeaten. Chelsea are still unbeaten there for eighty five games. Wait a minute. It was at away. It was at. It, it, they didn't travel. They host. They host Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea come over to Stoke City at Britannia Stadium. Mm. Um, could be a tricky tie, you know. Ch- Chelsea um, not known for being very uh, flamboyant, so you know, Ch- you know, Stoke City if they get their defenses right, they might uh, work another miracle. But uh, unfortunately, well, there wasn't uh, too big a miracle. It, uh, the scoreline is pretty predictable. Chelsea um, one two nil. Jose Bosingwa, right back, scoring the first goal. And uh, as usual, there are Nicolas Enalka pops up with a second goal. Uh. I know Nicolas Enalka. Uh. Do you think Nic- Nicolas Enalka, this, this striker, is, uh, um, is, is, is good for Chelsea? He always scores, but I always find that he always scores uh, the, 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 the third goal in a 4 0 win, you know, like, like, or, or the second goal in the 2 0 win. He's striker. not the one who scores the first goal. Mm. Do you think he is vital for, for Chelsea? Or? Um, I think anyone following his career right back to PSG days, uh, talents there. He's got pace, a lot of pace. and uh, you know, He's a good player, but yeah, he just doesn't shine sometimes. But I, th- I think he does well, better in smaller clubs actually, where the club plays around him. At a club like Chelsea, you're going to be just a digit, you know, just a statistic in, in the whole history actually. Yeah. yeah, you think the time when when no you had you had you had Nicholas and Elka and he's finally admitted it's a mistake, <laughs> even though we all saw it. But um, yeah. I think I think um, the move actually has come at the right time. I, I was surprised. I I thought he'd play a bigger role yeah. because I think you're right. He's done well at the small teams. Uh, Man City, Bolton, he had outstanding careers. But I think he's recognised his age is catching up, and uh, he's not going to be able to be that main man. But he has a lot to offer. I think that's why he was bought in to kind of compliment uh, Drogba, but it, that didn't seem to work. And Drogba's not delivering now. Um, but I think he'll have a big part to play this season. I think so anyway. Well, Andy, um, Drogba and Anelka, do you think it will ever work those two? Or are they too much of the same, too much of the same kind of uh, player? It depends, la, because, you know, like, um, Nicholas Anelka in the past, you know, when he was at like, uh, PSG, Arsenal, even Liverpool, Bolton, Man City. You know, wherever he goes, I mean, he's not given the incredible sulk for nothing. You know, and, you know, comparing with uh, Drogba, Drogba also has a strong personality. So, you know, I mean, I would prefer, of course, for them to, you know, do the things on the pitch. Huh? Mm. So, it, it really, it's, it's really hard to say that like, because, you know, uh, Anelka has just joined mm. and, like, you know, they are still, you know, trying to play to each other's style. Yeah, but, but actually, think, I think playing-wise, um, Anelka is more of an auxiliary forward. He's not mm-hmm. your other and out striker, despite his size. Mm-hmm. So, there is actually, on paper, it looks good, actually. Drogba, mm-hmm. the um, tough man in front, and Anelka behind him, supporting from the sides, usually. He likes to mix run from the sides. Mm-hmm. It's very similar to Thierry Henry, mm-hmm. but doesn't quite do it as well. Uh, but, you know, he, he's actually, on paper, quite right for the system. Mm-hmm. But I, I think when he was, that season he was at loan at Liverpool, he actually did well, but they just yes. somehow didn't sign him for the price. He actually did well. Mm-hmm. What, what is that? Uh, the negotiation of his pay uh, got pretty, pretty screwed up. Nobody knows. We'll never know. <laughs> we'll know. never know. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, Stoke City, uh, with Hull, Hull City, I think, do you, do you think they'll survive this, this, this drop? I if Hull play the way they play, they will definitely survive. Um, and I will be the first to admit it, they played well. Uh, once they decided after the first half to stop fouling and uh, get on with the game, second half, despite going a goal down at the Emirates, they came and played excellent football. And I hope it continues, that they play good football, they keep playing that football, they will stay up. They will stay up. Well, uh, Man U, you haven't played how you haven't played Stoke City, right? Mm-hmm. But we've None. played Liverpool. We've lost. West <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, no, let's not talk about that good, that good that. times. Yet. <laughs> um, but uh, do, you, do, you, do you like you see uh, Stoke getting a result in uh, Liverpool? Mm. How getting a result in Emirates? Mm. How how are you viewing these these two teams now? Uh, I, it's it's getting boring. You know, we, we always say it's early days. Mm. It, it is. It's cliche to say, but it is. Um, mm. But if your question could possibly be leading to whether I'm worried about the smaller clubs coming into Old Trafford or us facing um, smaller clubs. I think 
our experience tells. Um, that's why we've been winning titles. Because the smaller clubs, we do tend to take the points away from them. Whereas, no offence, but the Liverpool and Arsenal haven't been there when they not have been too, not as consistent. That's how you win the league. Yeah. That yeah. is really how you win the league. Yeah, true. Yeah. So, um, we'll get back um, back to the Premier League action. Um, of course, Manchester United were also in action on Saturday. Um, it's it's a pretty strange match again against Bolton. They were you know trying hard, doing well, playing well. You know, trying to break down the you know usually tough physical uh, Bolton defense. Mm. And uh, and mm. when it when they finally did, um, unfortunately, another controversy for Mister Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, J Lloyd Samuel tackled him in the penalty area. You know, fifty fifty ball and referee gave the penalty. And the score eventually turned out. Well, oh, that was years ago. That picture. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah, score eventually so turned out that um, <laughs> Manchester United came out two 0 winners. Um, Ronaldo scoring the dead penalty and Rooney Wayne Rooney adding a second goal in seventy seven minute. Um, now I hate to ask our uh, uh, menu friend, but Ronaldo is he a, like a foul magnet? <laughs> Or, or, or you, do you think that he do you, do you find it good that he keeps on diving? No, but look, <laughs> look, when you play the way the boy does Just a slight knock is going to take you tumbling The speed that he's, which he plays He's actually the fastest player in the Premier League at the moment So even the likes of Messi They just, just get hacked down easily you, and, and defenders get frustrated They don't know They have no answer to players like Ronaldo And the penalty was Okay, it was bet- definitely not a penalty I, I won't be you know nice. a fool to say that it was And try to trick everyone But it is clear cut not a penalty, but I guess that's that's how it goes. You know, sometimes we go, don't get decisions our way. Sometimes we get decisions our way. We haven't had the best of decisions the last few weeks, so I guess that was just a break we needed. Actually, change well, the game. Well, you have um, Ronaldo and Rooney back into scoring form. Would that be vital for the upcoming um, league matches? Yeah, the, the interesting thing was that um, Rooney was rested for the, that game, and he came on and he was oh hungry, hungry to play. So that goal was well taken and uh, it was good having the good R&R back again. So it looks uh, promising and of course um, scary for the rest <laughs> that they're back. Mm. Alright man, Manchester United back. Although um, if you want to look at the EPL table right now, um, they are not exactly back yet. Okay, But let's see, look, check out the EPL table, the bottom five first. And uh, I think Arsenal fans will be very, very Yes! Happy. Two points! <laughs> Two points. Remain no wins. Winless. Two points, and they just lost to Portsmouth, who just got beaten by Man City six 0 two weeks ago. Times are good, isn't it, Ben? Excellent. But but to be very honest, I mean, uh, obviously from the fact fa- the fact that I'm relishing them being at the at the bottom of the table. If you look at the bottom of the table, Newcastle Spurs. How much money would you've got if you place a bet? Huh. Six games into the league. Newcastle, Tottenham, oh. bottom of the league, behind Stoke. Uh, that, that is the beauty of the English Premier League. Okay, Newcastle finally got a manager, Joe Kinnear. I don't know how, long how many lasts, people but... will remember him, but no, I don't know how good he will be <laughs> anyway. Stoke City, oh well. But if you look at They're it, doing well. uh... they, they, they played the two, the two big teams already, mm. two mm. big yeah. teams, so they got some tough They've games. They've still got already. one win. And they still got one they win. Still got one but, win. But if you look at it, they're two points away from safety. So I wouldn't really. Uh, I, I, I still think Newcastle and Spurs got too much quality to go down. Um, I two would points think so, is. Uh, I mean, early days, yeah. Like, yeah, it's just yeah. a game. A game away. But, one win away from safety. But uh, sometimes it feels good to see. <laughs> yeah, of course. You'd never, you'd never em- you know, envision that happening. Yeah. yeah. But Bolton, no, uh, the danger, I think, for Spurs, if they keep saying. For me, I'd hope they keep saying we've got too much quality to go down. Because that's the surefire way to get them down. <laughs> Complacency. <laughs> yeah, um, back to, uh, let's look at the top five of the Premier League. Manchester United, not there yet. But oh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they'll soon they? come back. <laughs> oh, they're they seventh or? Yeah. Are they seventh? We're, or? we're ninth. Ninth. ninth, huh? ninth. I thought it's eleven. Early days, la. Oh, come nine. on. <laughs> Silly. Come on. Okay. Manu will be there. Oh, the I'm, I'm the loving season. this. I'm waiting for me. Yeah, that's what uh, they said last season to us also. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not going to win the league. Arsenal's going to win yeah, the league. Yeah, yeah what? Sure. We're not going to rule them out, right? We've done this, yes. Okay, but you. it's good to gloat a bit um, mm. uh, early this season. What West Ham, West Ham doing fine under Gianfranco Zola. Uh, Arsenal, after their slight slip-up against Hull, um, 
dropped to fourth. Still won as many Aston Villa games. Yep, Aston Villa looking good uh, and looking dangerous. While Liverpool and Chelsea, well, they are the two remaining unbeaten sides, if I'm not yes. wrong. And uh, while well, Liverpool haven't been scoring that much, only seven goals scored, but well, somehow they are getting the wins, uh, which is uh, I and only two goals points. considered uh, the least among the top five. So, uh, well, Chelsea, well, they they look uh, quite a different side, quite a um, quite a hard to hard to beat side yes, uh, this uh, mm. this season. So. It's all shaping up well in the Premier League. Um, all right, uh, we'll look at some of more comments that you're coming. You're already coming in a lot of comments. Uh. Uh, War Dog says Ronaldo didn't dive. The ref was bad. Ooh. I wouldn't argue with that. Rob Styles are uh, is really blind. Bad, 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 uh. Jesse weird. said sometimes it's not about how controversial penalties were given or how the wheels of various teams win, but the fact is whether they receive zero point, one point, or three points. The fact is. Man United managed to grab the three points, dubious or not, controversial or not. We'll fight back, guys. I think there's enough of poking fun at us just because of our slower start. Eh, hey, if not for your slower start, the world wouldn't be fun. Now. Come on. Uh, Ronaldo7 said, that wasn't a dive anyway. Yeah, I know that you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, Ronaldo all the way from Manchester. Sometimes, but not that bad. It's more like referee giving us a gift. Well, uh, you better hope that more, more teams give you, more referees give you that gift, man. Um, any more? Um, Ronaldo 7? Or Sugizo? Uh, Sugizo. Spurs will own Arsenal even though they are bottom of the table. We'll ben. see We'll see after S- S- Spurs play Hull <laughs> next game. We'll, oh. we'll, we'll come back for that. Well, I'll tell you Spurs, if you don't beat Hull the next game, I think you have nothing, <coughs> very few things to say then. Alright, uh, we'll go for a short break. We'll come back with our Champions League preview and maybe a bit of F1 if we have time. Alright, we'll get back.